All right, big changes out there today, mm -hmm. that is for sure, not only temperature-wise, but the stuff falling from the sky. Even some snow, I'm going to show you that uh, picture again down there near Jackpot, Nevada. But first, let's talk about some special events coming up first Thursday tonight. Here's the forecast. I think most of the rain will be over with by then. Then just some mostly cloudy skies, then decreasing clouds later in the evening. 62 degrees early on. Race for the Cure forecast. Park Center Boulevard on Saturday starts at 9 a.m. Registration uh, at 8. And they're possibly looking at some showers. I'm favoring towards the latter part of a race for the cure at 11. So I would bring along some rain gear. You might end up just leaving it in the car because there's about a 30% chance. That's not necessarily meaning it's going to rain. And also we have Mother's Day coming up on Sunday. And that forecast is still looking good. Partly cloudy skies with a high near 71 degrees for Mother's Day on Sunday. Here's our weather headlines. Rain showers today, unsettled tomorrow as well, but pretty nice come a Sunday and Monday looking pretty good as well. Here's our radar map. You can see the snow showing up in white along the Oahe Mountains and also the showers pushing up from the south and southeast. Pretty good batch of some showers down there around Grandview. And here is where we have some snow. This is uh, Highway 93. Jackpot, Nevada is just across the border. And this is the view there right now. Snow covered, that's about 5,000 feet along US 93. Meanwhile, we have some wet pavement out there and a whole lot of cloud cover. 47 degrees, winds are calm at the moment. And our temperatures across our region, 48 in McCall, 45 in Stanley, 47 degrees in Boise. We have a severe weather threat again today, an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms, portions of Oklahoma and Dallas. And they're already seeing quite a bit of activity starting to fire up there in the Texas Panhandle in the heart of Tornado Alley. We could see another active weather day, and we saw all kinds of tornadoes and uh, Wind damage, large hail, also showers extend up into Minnesota. Meanwhile, here in the Pacific Northwest, a few showers wrapping around a low pressure system just to our south. Got showers in the forecast then tapering off later on this evening. And then another wave of moisture moving in with the daytime heating. We could see some isolated thunderstorms develop again Friday afternoon. And also into Saturday, we could see some rain, but then clearing up by Sunday. Here's our tight Future cast view, got the showers in the forecast, also some mountain snow. Snow level's pretty high though, this time of the year, it's 7,000 feet. And as we head into Friday, we could see some showers also develop mainly in the afternoon and evening hours. If we don't get the showers, we'll be real close to getting some rain here in the valley. Here is our regional forecast for today. Cloudy, scattered rain, isolated thunderstorms this afternoon, and scattered rain and snow showers for the Sun Valley area. Snow level's 7,000 feet, but uh, we dropped down to about 5,000 feet there from that uh, view from Jackpot, Nevada. Rain and snow showers mainly this afternoon for the McCall area. Right now you have a mixture of clouds and sun as we saw earlier in the show. Mostly cloudy skies, scattered rain, isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. And mostly cloudy, scattered rain, isolated thunderstorms for Canyon County and also the Boise area. Here is our extended forecast and we're looking at some unsettled weather today and tomorrow and to a lesser extent on Saturday. Then on Sunday, Sunday and Monday looking really nice. Could see some rain again Tuesday and Wednesday. Brian?